Today we're going to learn about property flow charts. This is lesson 1.9. This is the final lesson in unit 1. Our learning target today is to apply understanding of the properties of expression by completing flow charts. So you're probably wondering what flow charts are. And we will give you an example of what they are um, in our steps. So this is a, an example of a flow chart. You see all these arrows and they just represent different pathways. So they build off of each other and there's no specific um, order or way that they need to be placed. It's just, you just follow the pathway. So they kind of just flow together. So this is kind of what a flow chart would look like. And so it kind of is giving you steps, but with this type of um, problem, there are not necessarily any steps. So this is, this may be used if it is helpful. And if it is not helpful, then you, you can use your own strategy. So here we have our steps. And the first step that we've, we've learned is in order to figure out why expressions have changed or why they're allowed to change, we've had to first find the difference between the expressions. So we have to locate what is different between the expressions. And so if we look at this, this example right here, A plus B plus C, there's two different pathways. So let's focus on um, the, the middle pathway to the, the bottom pathway. So from the, the middle to the bottom, okay, what allows these expressions to be rewritten? So we need to find the difference of the expressions. And one way of finding that is asking a series of questions. And you can always start with this, this basic question. Did the order move? So when you look at the expression A plus B plus C to the expression A plus C plus B, did the order move? Yes, the order is different. They are now in a different order. So this would be yes. Now I go to this next question. Were the symbols or terms, that would be a better word for well, not necessarily terms because we could move factors as well. So were the symbols being added or multiplied? So did we move terms or did we move factors? So it looks like A plus B plus C, and now we have A plus C plus B. So we can see between what has changed, the C and the B, there is an addition sign. So this means that the symbols were being added, and because they were being added, we now know what the property is that allowed us to rewrite the expression. is the commutative property of addition, which we can say is C plus or CPA. Now, let's go back to the middle one and let's look at the above expression. And we'll do the same exact thing. Did the order move? You can look at the two and you can tell that they did not change it in the order. It's A, B, C, A, B, C. So I would say no. Did groups shift? Or a better word for shift would be to change. Did the groups change? Or are there new groups? So I'm going to change this. Did groups change? And I would say, yes, the groups changed. And how do I know that? Because there are new parentheses. There was no parentheses here, and now there are parentheses. So this is an example of the groups changing. So I would say, yes. Were the symbols being added or multiplied? So are we putting parentheses around things that are being added or multiplied? And you can see clearly, if we're putting the parentheses around the A and the B, there's an addition sign between them. So we can say, okay, this is an example of the associated property of addition or A+. plus. So this is a kind of how the pathway works. And if it's helpful for you, then you may use it as you go through the examples. Here's the first example. Complete the flow chart by filling in the proper justification or expression. And so here we can start pretty much anywhere because it all flows together. So I'm going to start right here and I'll underline my starting point in red. C minus B plus X, Y, A. And now I can go either to the left and compare the two expressions that have arrows or the right. So I'm going to I'm going to go left first. So I'm going to ask myself these questions. Did the order move? So I can see between the two that the difference is a change in the order. We now have an x y a in front of this minus b and the negative b was in front of the x y a. So did we change the symbols through that were being added or multiplied and you can see that there's a plus between what is what is changed in their order. So we know that this is commutative property of addition. And now that we are here, we can we can compare the two um, expressions that are connected by the arrow. So we have C, X, Y, A minus B, C plus A, X, Y. So again, did the order change? Yes, the order changed. We had X, Y, A, and now we have A, X, Y. So were the symbols being multiplied or added? And we use the word symbols because we don't know yet if they are factors that we are commuting or terms. So symbols just is kind of like the, the, the general way of asking what has changed. Things were being added or multiplied. 
If you say multiplication, you are correct. This A got commuted in front of the X and the Y. And because there's no addition signs between them or any other sign, we know that it is multiplication. So we can say commutative property of multiplication. And now let's compare the difference between these two expressions. You can see that the order is not changed. The, the symbols are in the same exact order. But what has changed is, now there are a new set of parentheses. So did the groups change? Yes, the groups changed. A, X, Y minus B are now grouped together. So are we grouping things that are being added or multiplied? And you're probably thinking neither. We're grouping things that are being subtracted. But remember back to when we first learned about the associated property? We can associate subtraction. However, we can turn subtraction into addition. So we can say that minus B is the same thing as plus a negative B. So we're associating things that are being added. So we can say that this is the associated property of addition. And now let's compare these expressions. So you can see now that this expression started with C plus, and now the plus C is at the rear or the ending of the expression. So we've changed the order. Did we change things that are being added or multiplied? Well, if we're moving the C, then we're changing things that are being added because the C is not being multiplied to anything. So we can say this is commuted property of addition. And now, I'm going to go back to the original. I could keep going down, but I'm going to go back to the original and I'm going to compare the, the this expression with the one below it, the one that is connected to this U arrow. And I'm looking at it and I can see that the order did not change. So did the group shift? Yes, they did. There was no parentheses in this expression and now there are. So they're using these parentheses to group things that are being good, multiplied. So it is not the commutative property, sorry. This is an example of associating things that are being multiplied. Associated property of multiplication. X and Y did not have a sign between them, so we know they're being multiplied. Now if we compare these two expressions, we can see that the order has changed. It began with C, and now this is beginning with X, Y, A. So they are changing things that are being added or multiplied. And you can see that if we're changing the X, Y, A with the C, we're, ch we're commuting the order of addition. We can see these addition signs. So we can say this is the commutative property of addition. And now let's compare these two. And again, you can see that the order has changed. This one does not start with an X or an A. This one does. So we are commuting this A in front of the parentheses. How are they connected? They are connected through multiplication. They are being multiplied. So we could say that this is the commutative property of multiplication. And now we can compare the, the, this expression to the bottom expression. And we're looking at it, and we can, again, did the order change? Yes, the order changed. It was C minus B. Now it is negative B plus C. So are we commuting things that are being added or multiplied? And now we're like, we're commuting subtraction? No. Remember, we are commuting addition. When we commute subtraction, we are turning it into plus and negative. So this is an example of commuting addition. And now from this bottom expression to the one to the left. You can see here that the order has not changed. AXY, AXY minus B, minus B plus C. However, we go from not having, we go from having parentheses around the, or grouping the X and the Y, to not having the X and the Y grouped. So this is an example of deassociating, which we would use the associative property to do. If you group things, you associate them. But this is the same thing as saying these things are not grouped anymore, which is also a, a way of associating things. It's called deassociating. So we'll say that this is the associative property and are we deassociating things that are being multiplied or added? Good. We're deassociating things that are being multiplied. So this is the associative property of multiplication. Now for the final one. And we can go either way here. We can start here and look at the bottom one or we can start at this bottom one and look at the top one. And we have AXY minus B. AXY minus B plus C. So the order has not changed. Did the groups change? Yes, we had parentheses, and now we don't have parentheses. Or, we don't have parentheses, and now we do have parentheses. So what are we grouping different? Addition or multiplication? Well, if we're grouping the AXY minus B, then technically we are grouping addition. Or deassociating addition. So we can say this is the associative property of addition. Example number two. Complete the flowchart by filling in the proper justification or expression. 
So this is the same thing that we did in the previous example, except now it's a little bit more complex. So we can start anywhere we want, and I've already underlined where I would like to start, but you may choose any, any um, starting point because it all flows together. So now I'm going to compare the two, and I'm going to ask myself, did the order move? Did the symbols change order? So I'm looking at them, and it's very clear that they did not change. So now I ask the next question, did the groups change? And I'm looking at what was grouped. So here in this expression we have grouped. This a plus 2xy is one group that is in this expression. And there's another group inside of that group. This, this 2x was grouped together. And then outside of that group, there was another group. This, this group right here was grouped together. And so I'm looking at those groups, and it looks like this group is the same. It looks like this group is the same. But now it looks like this group has changed. They were grouping the 2 and the x together, and now they're grouping the x and the y. So are they changing what is grouped? What they're changing that is grouped, is it being multiplied or added? So... 2x to xy, there's no addition signs between them so that we know they're changing things that are being multiplied. So we could say this is the associative property of multiplication. Now from this expression to the top expression, we're comparing to see where the difference is. Did they change the order of things? Yes, they did. You can see here we have parentheses 2xy. And now we have y parentheses 2x so we've changed the order of things that are being multiplied the 2x and the y were being multiplied they still are just in a different order so this is an example of the commutative property of multiplication and now we can use this expression again to compare it to the one that's to the left so i'm looking at the order and i can see very clearly that the order changes this begins with five parentheses this begins with x plus four so how are they changing the order? Are they changing the order of things that are being added or multiplied? Well, if we're changing the order of all of this with all of this, then it is clear that we are changing the order of things that are being added because there is addition sign between what we changed. So we could say this is the commutative property of addition. And now if we look at the, the expression in the middle and the one below it, we can again see that they changed the order. We had x plus 4, and now we have 4 plus x, and there's an addition sign between them. So we know that we are changing the order of things that are being added. So this is the commutative property of addition. And now from here to the one that's below it, we can see that the order is the same. 4x5, 4x5, a, 2x, 2xy. So we did not change the order. Did we change the groups? Well, here we had 4 plus x grouped, and we had a plus 2xy grouped, and we had 2x grouped. a plus 2xy is grouped still. You can see that this group still exists. We can see that the 2x group still exists. But now the 4x, 4 plus x group is gone. And it looks like instead of grouping the 4 plus x, they have decided to change and group the x plus 5 times and what was in the parentheses. So are we changing the grouping of addition or multiplication? Well, if we're regrouping things that were being added to things that are being added, this is an example of the associative property of addition. They were being added here. Now we're putting the parentheses around the x and the, and the 5 times the parentheses that is being added. And now for the last one. You can see that the order has changed. We had 4 plus the parentheses. Now we have the parentheses plus 4. So are we changing things that are being added or multiplied? Well, this 4 was being added to all of the parentheses through this addition sign right here. So we're commuting addition. Here's our last example, and we're using this to fill in the justifications and the final expression. So you can see from here to here what has changed is the x and the y and they are being multiplied so we know this is the commutative property of multiplication. Then I'll fill in this. What has changed? We don't know but we know that something that is being multiplied again is changing so I'm going to look at this ending expression and I can see the order of the b and the a has changed. So we can say that this is going to be ba plus yx 
And now we can say from here to here we are changing addition. 